Hey everyone, Pupsker here. So today I felt like we should talk about and go over the newest Warframe Sevagoth. Haven't made a video on him, he's actually pretty fun and definitely very useful depending on how you actually feel like playing him. So I would definitely recommend everyone check him out. If I sound a little tired, a little off, or make like silly derpy mistakes here and there, sorry about that. I'm barely sleeping as my puppy and Resident Evil 8 and yeah, I'm barely sleeping, everything's too exciting. So without further ado, let's take a look at Sevagoth. He is a really cool Warframe, very edgy, and I'm so far enjoying him. You have Sevagoth, you have his exalted shadow with exalted claws, because, yeah. So he pretty much is a Warframe, but two. So first we'll go over his abilities, and then we'll go over his other forms abilities, I guess? Yeah. Passive, on death, becomes Sevagoth's shadow and fight to resurrect him by collecting the souls needed to rebuild his tombstone. So if you die, very simple, you become a shadow, kill stuff, and revive. Kind of like an Aros in a sense. Reap. Sevagoth's shadow flies outwards, ravaging enemies in its path. Survivors are damaged by death's harvest over time. The souls of the dead fill the death well. The death well is to get your exalted shadow. So, yeah, that's pretty much something you'll just be throwing out there. I myself originally had a higher strength build, but I put on more duration for things like this because, yeah, 10 second duration on this guy. So, plant a death seed in nearby targets to drain their life force. Reap what has been sown to detonate afflicted enemies. Dealing a percentage of their health as radial damage, the souls of the dead fill the well. So clearly you want to hit so Reap as the general combo of abilities. Yeah, well, for the first two at least. Gloom. Summon a radial pulse wave that ensnares and slows enemies. This is stupidly good, by the way. Siphoning their life force for the death well, allies within the wave steal health with each hit. So this is what everyone's subsuming and throwing on the helmet on every Warframe because Gloom is really good. Like, look at the stats on that, right? Not bad at all. And last but definitely not least, Exalted Shadow. When the Death Wells fill, Sevagoth's shadow form is ready to be released. Yep, etc, etc. That is its damage. There you go. Sevagoth, Pretty fun Warframe. Essentially, you just want to have Gloom and then throw out a Sow and a Reap here and there. And that's just how you play his base form, right? Because, like, what else are you going to really do? It's pretty obvious. There's not really much else without any Augment mods. But then we go to his Shadow. The first ability, Embrace. Ghostly hands pull enemies into a flailing mass. I very much like this ability. It's pretty cool. Pretty much just pulls enemies right into you and you destroy them all. Can't really be mad at that. Consume. Dashes through enemies and rip out their souls to heal Shadow. So yeah, that literally just... You can hit Embrace and then Consume, get them all in one spot and then eat them all. Yeah, it's what I do here and there. Or you can just use Consume, realistically. It doesn't matter too much. Death's Harvest. Inflict nearby enemies with a harrowing condition. Yeah, Drain is pretty high on that one. Range, debuff duration, 7.5 seconds with my build. But the damage vulnerability, 102%. So, I mean, I do think it's pretty worth it. And finally, Reunite. Sevgoth and his shadow become one. So, you'll just want to be popping this and then embracing and consuming whenever you feel like it. You should be okay. Death's Harvest is really strong. The consume lifesteal is really high. So, I don't imagine you'll have too many issues. And then, finally, you have the claws. But we'll go over my Sevagoth build, and then we'll take your boy out for a little run. So, I... Originally, I had more strength on here, but I was like, no, Prime Continuity is just better. I shouldn't have any corrupted mods for my, like, basic build right now. I have Steel Fiber on just in case. Don't really need that. Can probably swap that out with Adaptation, and I think I'm actually gonna do that. Just because, like, realistically, your armor's not too high, right? But you do have so much lifesteal that adaptation probably better. So I'm just going to do that. As you can see, general build, energy spent on abilities converted to shields. I have all, just too many auger mods. I need more primed mods, but as you can see, nope. So I'm just going to go hard on the auger mods, increasing strength, range, and duration. I wanted on this Sevagoth a good mixture of duration, range, and strength. I think with that much, I won't really need much efficiency. If you ever want to take anything out though, honestly, just take out one of my one of these auger mods. I don't really care too much and I'm not really uh, being super meta about this build naturally. 
energize and grace on as always because lazy but yeah it's not like it's ever gonna be an end game 15 form of sevagoth that people are talking about okay you don't really need form on anything to be good enough to do everything it just makes everything a lot easier right so that's my build there steel charge because yeah why not you can swap that out with whatever you want, naturally, personal preference. People will get mad at me in my builds no matter what I do, so, meh, it's fine. <laughs> so, this is Sevagoth Shadow. Steel Charge for all of the melee damage, naturally. Transient Fortitude. I might actually want to put Duration over that. I will. Just because I think I just swapped and had the same build that I had on my Sevagoth, pretty much on him before, except a little worse. So... I think I'm gonna do my Sevagoth build like this, right? Jack of all trades, the shadow, sorry, the shadow for Sevagoth is just gonna be good all over. It'll have higher range, it'll do more damage, and yeah, I can't really complain. I don't really know what else I'd wanna throw on for range, but definitely not overextended because I kinda want that strength. But overextended would be fun if you wanna do a max range embrace build. There's a lot of things you can technically do, right? With a lot of these Warframes and Exalted setups. So literally just do whatever you feel like doing. Any build can work depending on what you want your build to do. I myself tend to build just jack of all trades just so that I won't have to swap around. Just a good enough build to do everything. Half my shit's not even maxed out still because I can't be bothered to farm that much endo, so it realistically doesn't matter. The claws, these are going to be the funniest build though. The Shadow Claws. That's right, boys. Sacrificial Steel and Pressure, and then Berserk and Organ Shatter. Yes, 142.5% crit chance, 4.9% crit multiplier, Violent Scourge on for the Toxin, just to have some status and some extra status percent. Throw literally whatever you want in there. You can throw condition overload in over it. You can throw a condition overload once you get more forma in. Do whatever you want. You won't really need more attack speed, but my god, the crit on this one is really fun. So that is currently my build. Let's go take it out for a little test drive in a survival. Generally, I guess if I have a Kuva Lich spawned, I should probably just go to the Kuva Lich survival. Oh, what if I can't find one? Yeah, it's always a struggle. Anyways, we can just do eh, any Steel Path mission now that I think about it. I want to see if this build holds up decently in Steel Path, or if I'm going to end up getting completely wrecked. Either way, I've been using this in non-Steel Path, I've been using this in the Kuva Liches, and it's been working out decently well. I'm probably going to die a couple times here and there, just because uh, I'm kind of a goof here and there. I do have the Cedo on, and... Of course I have my war, so you know what? We should be fine. As you can see, I've uh, equipped myself with black crits now. So with Gloom, you pretty much won't die unless you feel like dying. You don't even need to do a ton of uh, like a ton of damage or anything, right? And you just won't die. Oh wait, did I push him over? Oh yeah, forgot about that. And then, when you want, I'm just trying to like Gloom everyone. I don't have enough energy, as you can see, but that's okay. I won't really run into any, many issues. So yeah, Sevagoth, even without like much tankiness, he's not going to have issues. I'm barely even using Gloom. And I'm doing fine, so as you can see, won't have any issues. Yeah, look at this sick war build. Clearly just too strong for the enemies. I want to get out his sa shadow form. So you can at least take a look at that. It is definitely his good form and fun to play. You know, IMO. If you want to just go shadow form melee. But as long as you keep using your abilities occasionally, keep killing them, you should be okay. You'll uh, definitely just annihilate them. You can always just be watching the duration if you want to feel like recasting everything. And then you just do this, and your shadow form should honestly last ages. The damage on it, as you can see, might not be perfect because I don't have any Forma in it. The black crits may be damn near impossible to see for some. I understand, okay, it's a struggle. So then you just Death Harvest, ah, oh, perfect. I have max health anyways, I'm not really too worried about anything here. And I'm just gonna go around in my Shadow form. 
But yeah, so Sevagoth, IMO, he's good. If you like his attacks, go for him. You probably won't have any issues as long as you build him just somewhat decently. Because him and his shadow form, great combo. It's not like I even have him super tanky whatsoever, and he's just doing fine. Where do these enemies keep... Oh, it's the rollerball. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all I want to show you off for Sevagoth. No point in running the whole mission. It'll take a little bit of time, as, again, I don't have formas on these claws. So, if you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you were to check out all my social medias like Facebook, Twitter, etc. Subscribe, like the video if you like it, and, yeah, just check out the description if you want to follow any of my stuff or take a look. Thank you guys for being here. I will have hopefully a video up in the next day or two for my Resident Evil 8 review. And then other than that, just more Warframe stuff and random streams. Hey buddy. So thank you guys for being here. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Peace.